News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I'm super excited to do today's quick tip. Um, it is quick tip number 26. And I'm going to go over a website called photomosh.com. I'll leave the link in the show more section below. Um, so I'll try to get through this through this video tutorial uh, pretty quickly um, so you can get started uh, using it yourself. Uh, so basically, it's just like a photo manipulation uh, website. You can do just so many things with it. Right now, I just have a duotone and a mirror effect and hue and saturation applied to this image. I can click on Mosh right here and it'll just create another effect and just crazy things um, that you can do with this site. I, I just love working with it. Um, I'm gonna show kind of a quick way to use it as a GIF and to use it um, so that when the user hovers over the image, the GIF plays. So, you know, you can just go through, like that's amazing to me, that's just so cool. Um, you can save it. So right up here we have uh, JPEG, GIF, and WebM. So you can save it as a JPEG, um, and then for the GIF, you can save it as a GIF, and then um, have this cool hover effect. So I'm just gonna play around with it. Like, that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna save that just because it's so cool. Um, so I'll save it. So right now it's saved as a JPEG. I can save it as a GIF if I go to GIF and click on record, it'll record the GIF. So I'll quickly use uh, this image here and then we'll play with another image just so I can showcase, um, you know, working with uh, the website. So I downloaded the JPEG and I downloaded the GIF. So I'll just place it in a folder. Okay, so here I have the two images. I have the JPEG and the GIF. Okay, so I'll go into Adobe Muse. I'll create a rectangle with the rectangle tool. I'll just create uh, a perfect square here and I'll place it in the center. So the first thing I want to do, um, I could either fill it with the GIF, which I'll do really quick. So I'll click on the uh, square. I'll go to the fill option right up here. Click on fill and then click on add image. And then I have the GIF here, so I can just select it. And then just like an image, I can say scale to fill to fill the entire square with the image. And so it's fully visible and I'll position it in the center. All right, and then I'll preview in the browser, file preview page in browser, and we have the GIF. All right, looks good. If you wanted the GIF to play when the user hovers over the square, what you could do is for the normal state, I'll go to the image, and I'll fill it with the JPEG here. So I'll double click on the JPEG. So it's just an image. And then for the rollover state, so here we have the states option, uh, the states panel. So I'll click on normal. And then for rollover, I'll, yeah, I'll click on rollover. And then I'll go back to fill. And then for image, I'll click on image. And then I'll select the GIF right here. So I'll double click. And now for the rollover state, we have the GIF. So if I preview, File preview page in browser, we see it's just an, a still image. And when I hover, it turns into the GIF. So it's just a really cool effect. It can make for a really interesting website. And yeah, I just really like it. All right, so let's go over one more image. Um, so I'll just go to photomosh.com. Um, when you first go, you can drag and drop a file. You can load a file or use a webcam. Um, I'll just drag and drop an image. Let me close this here. So I have a few images here. Uh, this one's kind of interesting, so I'll drag and drop here. Um, and these images are from unsplash.com, and I'll leave a link uh, in the show more section below as well. Um, so you can manually go through all these options like pixelate, polar pixelate, slices, jitter, melt, uh, wobble. I can say wobble, just turn it on. We see it wobbles. Um, you know, we can do edges, uh, solarize, dot matrix, posterize, duotone. Um, so I can click duotone, it changes the color to these two colors and everything is really customizable. You could do a uh, bad TV and just have this like really crazy effect. That's a really cool effect. Um, you can do halftone, lino cut, rainbow, uh, RGB shift. This is pretty cool. So we can see that the image just moves a little bit. It's kind of a, like a really interesting parallax effect. Um, it's just amazing. I really like this website. Uh, you can do scanliness and just have that effect there. Uh, mirror, just kind of splits the image and creates this kind of weird image for that one. That was kind of interesting. Uh, we have Instacolor, and you can you know change the options here. 
and it's really amazing glow hue and saturation brightness and contrast vignette uh, tilt shift so we have kind of that blur effect there it's, uh, the tilt shift uh, barrel blur so that's pretty cool um, and smear so you can do something like that that's just like insane that yeah that's crazy all right so that looks good um, if you just wanted to experiment you could just say mosh and it would just pick um, you know various options here and just create like a mix of it so like you can get some really interesting images it's pretty amazing all right so yeah um, that's the website um, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and I'm gonna do the bad TV effect just because it's such an interesting effect so I'll do bad TV turn it on and we'll just do that effect for now we can change the thick distort um, the uh, let me just change it back to three, the find to store it, the roll speed. So yeah, we can just do a bunch of stuff with it. It's amazing. So I'll do that one more time just to uh, use the defaults. So here we go, turn it on. And first I'll save the J JPEG, so I'll click save uh, here. So we have JPEG selected, and then I'll click on GIF, and then I'll record it, and then it'll save uh, to my computer. All right, so it's processing and then it'll download. All right, so there we go, I've downloaded it. Okay, so here I have the JPEG and the GIF. So again, I'll just do what I did with the first one uh, for the normal state. I can see I'm on the normal state. I'll go to fill, um, image, and I'll add the JPEG, so I'll double click. And it's already set, uh, set to scale to fill. And then for the rectangle, I'll click on the normal dropdown, click on rollover, and then go back to fill, image, and I'll select the GIF. All right, and it's already set scale to fill. So let me just click on the states. Yeah, so the normal state we have the JPEG, roll over and mouse down is the GIF, and the active state is the uh, the JPEG. All right, so I'll go ahead and preview. Yeah, file, uh, preview page and browser. So there we have the JPEG, and when I roll over, we have the uh, bad TV effect. All right, so it can make for a really interesting website, really abstract. And yeah, it's just awesome. I really like uh, this website. Uh, so that's basically it for photomosh.com. So it's a really cool website. Um, I think I went over everything. Um, you can save it as a WebM and use a video player widget to have it play kind of as a video. Uh, GIF works well uh, in Muse, so you can use it as a GIF and just have some really nice images with GIFs on rollover, or if you just wanted the GIF to play right away, uh, just fill the rectangle with the GIF and it'll play automatically. Um, and you have all of these different options here to really customize how the image and the GIF looks. All right, so that's basically it. It is photomosh.com. Uh, you can drag and drop a file, load a file, or use the webcam, and then you can play with all the options here. Okay, so that's it for quick tip number 26. I was really excited to share this with you. Um, I think it's a great website and can re really add a lot to your website. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to mesefreeshop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.